follow God's example, therefore as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love. Just as Jesus loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Be among who must not even a hint of sexual immortality or any kind of impurity or of greed because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater and has any inheritance in the king of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words because of the, such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be partners with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of the light and find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but exposed by the light becomes visible. Everything that is illuminated becomes light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. So that was uh, Ephesians 5, verses 1 through 14. You know, at at first, it, this this reading just seemed seemed to be a a bit harsh, um, crashing down on on those who are greedy, those who talk foolishly or obscenely. But in truth, it's not as harsh as it sounds because when someone flips their life around and lives in the light lives with God's love deep inside their heart, you notice a language change. You notice a change in acts. You notice things just simply disappear and other things appear. You start to take the meaning of what they're saying differently because they're living in the light. It just, you just intuitively do it. You don't... Uh, it's not like... The person is just... It just seems, it seems differently to you. You can you um you can see you can hear and you experience the light through a person after they have changed themselves, so that they are living in the light. It, there are all walks of people who live in the light. Because God sends His messengers through different people. 
But while different people, they live in different places, they do different things. The one thing that will always hold true for all those who walk in the, the light of God. You'll know when you when you meet a person who walks in that light. You will know because you just instantly start to experience God's love. And God's love isn't isn't something that that it oh you, you get the butterflies or anything like that. You you know it because it just kind of takes you over. You become soothed in all ways. When you accept God's love into your heart. Yeah, again, we're going to go back to, like, yeah, things happen in life. Events are going to happen because we're supposed to experience those events. It is part of what we're supposed to do while we're here. Experience things. Feel things. But nothing seems to be all encumbering that you feel that you can't experience it because you have God with you. When you accept him, truly accept him into your heart, you see, you experience, and you feel. But you, it, but it doesn't become all all encumbering. You know that the weight is being held partially by our Creator and our Father. You know it. It's there. We don't know how to tell you what that feels like until you have accepted it for yourself. You have to accept God into your heart in order to experience that type of love, that type of security, that unshakable happiness. And when you do, not only do you feel it, but then you can share it. You can share that love and never feel like you're being emptied. I'm sure many of you know what it feels like to have... To experience, you're trying to, you're, you care for this person, you care about them, and you want to help them, but they're emptying you back out. They're draining you of your own energy, and it can lead to a point where your own survival and well-being becomes questioned. When you accept God that far into your heart, You don't experience that. Because God is caring for you. He's ensuring that you will do the right things. So that you self-care. So that you do the right, right things to take care of you. While you help others. You won't have to speak about the things that worry about speaking about the things that that you see that the people you're trying to help are doing because you know that that as you bring the light and the light shines on what it is who these people are that you're helping it shares itself and it shares itself in a kind way that others join you in helping them. It, it see that becomes a, a becomes a an issue because there are a lot of people 
who claim that they that that they want to help. They claim that that they want to show people the right way. They claim all these things, but yet when you see see them trying to help people, there's people they're they're leaving in fear. There are instances where you could be doing the right things for people, but if you're doing them for the wrong reasons, if you're not doing them to fulfill God's love, people aren't going to stay. Because you're doing them out of self-indulgence instead of God's love. And there becomes a, a very big difference when we when we accept God into our hearts to a point and we go to help people go to lift them up we are truly lifting them up we're not lifting we're not offering them a hand out we're offering them a hand up when you help them through the, the real love of God, things change for them. Their living situation may not change, but other things change that they are able to do for themselves. And you can move on to the next person who needs God's love. When you're doing things for self-indulgent reasons you have to stay with them because there's no lesson there's no teaching there's no sharing of knowledge there's no sharing of love you're only wanting to absorb rather than give and I bring this out because there's a lot of that going around um a, a lot of people wanting to claiming that oh I want to help I want to help there's people in governments and everything they I want to help I want to help and they've been doing this for hundreds of years saying how they want to help but they only want to help under the terms and guise that you do exactly what they say That it becomes more of an ideal of slavery than it is truly helping people. And then, still, those people, they, they their hearts never change. They are still living in the dark and in the fear. Because that self-indulgent people, they don't let them out of the dark. They keep them in the dark. They tell people that they aren't worthy to be in the light. They tell people that they can't ever truly experience God's love. So when you help someone, help them from the heart as you have filled yourself with God's love and you will teach them how to experience or how to open their heart to God's love so they can live in the light. They they know that they can live just the same as you do in God's love in the light. Lord, let us pray. Let us know what it's like to live in your light. Fill us with that spirit so that we can help others find that light also. Truly find that light. 
so we can share that light with everyone so that we can fill others or help others find the fulfillment of your love, should I say. Help us to open our hearts so that we can witness to others how they can open theirs. How they can open theirs in their way so that they can experience your love the same as we experience love in our way. Amen.